Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Polenthi, your dating and relationship coach, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why men like competent women. This is a great one, and as you know, I work with a lot of men, so I really know these tips firsthand. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel full of dating and relationship advice, and click the bell to be notified every time that there is a new video posted. Now in this video today, I'm going to tell you the reasons of why men like confident women, and I'm also going to give you tips around how to be that confident woman that men like. So let me start off with an example here, ladies. A confident man goes a long way. And I'm just gonna put this into perspective for you before we move on to this video. I want you to imagine two men approaching you right now. These two men, one is pretty hot, but has no confidence, and the other one is not so hot, but he has a lot of confidence. Which one are you gonna choose? Probably the one that's not so hot that has a lot of confidence. Why? Because you feel that there's a lot of value to him. He owns his health and he's confident in his approach with you so he can probably court you properly. He could do different things. He can challenge you. He can enhance your life. I mean, there's a lot that can go on within a confident man. So that's why I wanted to start off with that example is because the same thing goes with men. You know, a lot of times you'll see that men do probably date good looking girls only. And this is the difference between a boy and a man is because he is seeking validation probably from a beautiful woman and probably wants to date multiple beautiful women to seek validation for something that he is lacking. And so that's definitely a boy. But when a man grows into his own, he knows that a beautiful woman is great, but if she doesn't have substance and she lacks confidence, then he's gonna get bored very easily. And trust me, I know this. I am someone that believes that men are visual as well as women are emotional connection. I know there's a lot of coaches that tend to say differently or maybe do under, and some that do agree with me, but I really am really staying strong to this because of the fact that I know that men are visual no matter what point of life that they are and women are more emotional. Yeah, we can lead with visuality of what we see and how um, we like a man and how he shows up and what he looks like, but we are women, what, as we as women are more connected to a man that can show up emotionally for us and I know that. Same with men, they're more visual, but they attract, their first attraction, the hunt is off of visual. But when you show as a woman you're confident, that's what continues a relationship to be more sustainable, and that's what builds emotional connection for a man. Typically a woman likes to see the emotional connection before she has any attachment, you understand? And the reason why I say this is because people talk about men being visual, but what they don't talk about is men do want something sustainable. Yeah, they're visual and they act off of that, but they also want something sustainable. So if a man is dating a very attractive woman, like she said, and she lacks confidence, he's going to get bored easily. So confident guys that are looking for that relationship um, are going to want that confident woman because Typically, a confident man has direction and has goals of what he wants to do in life, what he wants to become, um, and he, they want that woman by them side that's confident enough that won't distract them from their goals and what they want in life and what they want to become. They want that confident woman that's gonna be able to stand her ground and really show up in her best capability to enhance him and enhance the relationship and enhance her life. So basically be his cheerleader. A man wants a woman that's gonna influence his life in the positive direction. So you might be out there thinking, where is the man that likes a confident woman because I haven't seen it yet? Well, this is where you kind of have to say goodbye to the wrong men that are showing up for you because there's a lot of men that lack, that lack confidence as well. So insecure guys only go after attractive women so they can feel validated because they need to be validated because they're insecure themselves. So the moment you start focusing and you start seeing these behaviors is the moment that you get good at detecting um, a confident man because there's so many men out there that love confident women ladies. So I'm here to bust that myth and just reframe your, your mindset and the way of thinking if you're thinking that right now. When I hear a woman tell me that men don't like confident women, I automatically think then they have the wrong idea of what confidence is. When a woman tells me that men don't like confident women, I sit back and I think, hmm, 
I think she has a wrong idea of what confidence is. So here is my tips on what makes a man look for a confident woman and why men like confident women altogether. Tip number one, a confident woman allows a man to lead. You don't always have to make the decisions. You don't always have to come off with your masculine energy. A man loves when a woman can step in her femininity and let that man court her. Let that man show up for her and compliment him and show up in her feminine energy to be able to be led. You know, a lot of women are independent women that are confident and that woman and men are attracted to independent ladies. Trust me when I say this, but the difference is, you know how to let a man lead properly. Tip number two, you can be confident and vulnerable at the same time. Listen, vulnerability stems from confidence. A lot of people think that vulnerability doesn't stem from confidence and this vulnerability and placing vulnerability is huge in a relationship or in a dating process because you're out there and you know who you are and you and you voice it and you voice it with confidence insecure people hide their insecurities but you don't and this is what men are attracted to because you open up that door to communication as well and you this is the way that you can take the lead so like for example you let them allow the man look to lead in his masculine energy by courting you but in number two you allow in your feminine presence to have those conversations to open up those conversations of vulnerability, to allow the space to let him in and have those conversations with you as well. Tip number three is stop trying to be perfect or always right. I see so many women wanting to be perfect for what they think this man wants, right? But don't do that because you don't always have to be the perfect woman for a man to like you because there's no such thing as perfect. If there was, I said this before, it would be boring. <laughs> And don't always strive to be right. Let the man, and this is another way that you can digress into your feminine energy, and let the man have his own opinion. So if you're out on dates and you're talking about some specific thing, validate his opinion and be thankful for his opinion and maybe thank him for having a different opinion than yours and then share yours from a loving perspective instead of pointing fingers that he should have the same opinion as you. This is where you show up so highly in your feminine presence. So don't think that you always have to be perfect or you always have to be right. It's the way that you communicate these things with the man. And that brings me into tip number four. Allow your feminine presence to shine. Be soft, be gentle, be flirty, and let him make some decisions. You know, let him lead sometimes and let yourself be let yourself sit back and enjoy this ride because let me be honest with you ladies men love to court a woman that they're involved with they love to show up they love to make decisions for you and they also love to hear your feedback but there's a difference between being soft and gentle than being hard abrupt and assertive you want to leave that behavior behind especially if you're independent in a corporate environment or even an entrepreneur and you know you got to come in with your masculine energy all the freaking time but the difference is sitting back and enjoying that ride. Just put yourself in a convertible with some nice sunglasses <laughs> and some flowers in the back seat, and you're just in this ride and you are enjoying this beautiful view. That is how you show up in your feminine energy. Tip number five is stop looking at him like he's a loser before he even gets his opening. I see so many women doing this when a man approaches them. Men like confident women that don't look at them with the, with the lens of judgment. Ladies, leave that stuff behind. If there was a man that wasn't showing up for you in the past, does not mean that the man in front of you is going to be the same person. That is something that I talk about actually in how to attract a high quality man video, which I'm going to put up here in the information bar. But this is something I work with with you women, if this rings any bell, in my Soulful Love, Soulful Life workshop on how to attract a man in six weeks, which I'm going to put here in the description box below. But getting rid of that judgment behavior and not perceiving him to be a bad man just because you have this judgment outlook of him. Next tip is men love a woman with a confident mindset and she has a confident and positive direction and outlook of life. 
She is motivating to be around. She focuses so much on herself, her personal development, that she adds value to the man's life where he can learn from her. And you both share these two perspectives of positivity in life together. So when one is down, you can bring up the other. You hold that power to be able to be that confident woman when your man is feeling down or when a man is needs some help you step in there and you pick him right up this is so important in the confident mindset as a woman is mindset is everything your belief set the tone for any relationship even when you're dating so this is huge positivity generosity being nice and having that mindset is so attractive to a man and that has a lot to speak from being a confident woman next tip is beautiful and it's the last tip is being playful and fun love 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 this one be playful go with the flow have fun be spontaneous with the man even invent some spontaneity in this dating courting period or even in the relationship have fun don't take things too seriously yes voice the whole thing about i want to be in a relationship and have those conversations early on but also have fun don't put so much pressure on yourself to have this relationship right now, right then and there. But also a confident woman knows exactly where she's going and what she wants. And she's not afraid to tell this to a man. This is why men like these type of confident women, because they know that a confident woman likes to have fun as well. But also they have the same intentions in mind. And that's what I want to be very clear about. If you like today's video, please feel free to like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends if it's something that you can help another woman with knowing what it is that takes to be a confident woman that men like, and really giving some encouragement to somebody else. And I wanna hear from you. What do you see that men like in a confident woman? Comment below, and if you've learned anything in this video, I'd love for you to share it. I love to hear from you guys. And if you want any ideas or any topics about a video, I am open to your comments below as I do these videos for you. As always, I will see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.